Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Ryan and I film videos every single Wednesday and Sunday at 6 p.m. where we are currently in the progress of renovating our home. And today is the big day because we are gonna be putting all square cleaning to the test to see if we can fix the state of this carpet. And if you think that's bad, it gets worse. Much, much worse. Now I am praying that he can actually remove the stain from the carpet, but I highly, highly doubt it. But if at the very least you can get the carpet going from that, <laughs> To that, I will be very impressed. But seeing as this isn't a job for Dyson, I have the mammoth task of sorting out all of Jess's things and moving them because the first room that he's gonna be doing is Benjamin's bedroom. And as you can see right now, there isn't a whole lot of carpet he can actually clean. So we need to move all of this into our bedroom where I do need to do a little bit of tidying up in here and give some space for her stuff to go. So let's do ourselves a favor and clean that up. That is much better. If only it was that easy to clean everything else. Like seriously, if it, I'm just stood here, it, it, it just, it won't go. Which I guess means I have to do it. So let's roll a time <laughs> Just have a lot of stuff. All of this is literally just crafting things. I am actually hoping at this point that she has enough storage, you'd think, with this massive Calyx unit that she's got all the room in the world. But I am toying with the idea of having something that runs down in this space here, because it's a whole empty void. So yeah, that is something to think about. However, we're not doing that right now because I have all of this stuff to move. Now, unfortunately, I would obviously love to film the carpet being cleaned and then the, like the before and the after. However, I did speak to the guy uh, and he doesn't want to be on camera, which is completely fair enough. Like, I don't want to film people without their consent. Uh, so instead, uh, I, it's been left up to me just to move things around so the, uh, the room is clear for when he does arrive. And then whilst he's here, we are probably going to hop out uh, leave him to it and we're going to go do some shopping because if we do move these shelves above the tv there i want some plants that go on them to hang down and stuff like that and i also need to go to being queued to get myself a new saw because i'm not really sure what happened to it but it is most definitely dead and if i decide to actually box in a unit against this wall here i actually need the saw to cut mdf to size i'm also thinking of repurposing this wardrobe and all the parts of the wardrobe to essentially create drawers that go on here and slide out because jess has like these printers and stuff like that that she uses and they need like a lot of space to be used. So what I was thinking is if I put a shelf here that slides out, she can slide out her printers uh, and like, I think it's a Cricut and then she can use it and then slide it away when she's done with it. And I think instead of buying more MDF, I may as well save myself some money and repurpose this wardrobe. But right, with another room cleared up, I think it's time to head back to the house, get changed, get Jess and Benjamin and go shopping. A few days later, a change of clothes and a fresh trim, I am feeling way healthier than I did at the beginning of this video. So it's time to grab the flask, the keys and hit the road. Because we've arrived at our first destination, B, Thank you. But before we head to Tom's second home, we need some breakfast. Oh, it smells good. And it looks good too, a sausage and egg batch. I'm actually quite interested. What do you guys call it where you're from? Some people call it like a bap, some people call it a batch, a sandwich. Yeah, I think this looks like a bap. I'm not sure, there's, there's, there's lots of different words for it. What do you call yours? Let me know in the comments down below. And with the food consumed, it's time to wander around B&Q. And I never actually thought of B&Q doing these kind of lights, but these like soft box panel lighting would be really good for like a stream setup. Or if Jess was gonna film her crafting things, this would be really good lighting for the office of the room and i do actually need to move the light source so hmm. oh the rgp as well wow i am seriously impressed and they're only like 20 quid now this is one thing that i am going to be looking at however i am going to be holding out on buying them just yet because they can be really expensive and i'm not entirely sure i want to spend that kind of money on the flat just yet so Stay tuned because we are going to stick those lights behind the TV to create like the ambient lighting effect that you get. It's really cool, uh, but they cost like 200 pounds or something like that. And I don't really want to spend that right now. And oh my God, how cool is that? Not only is it a cool pirate ship light that hangs from the ceiling, but it's on clearance for 20 quid. Do you want it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good boy. One thing we do need to do is Benjamin's room. However, I don't know if it's got any easier over the years, but I absolutely hate putting wallpaper up. It's it's pain. You can get some really cool wallpapers, so maybe it's an idea for Benjamin's room. But I've begun to find things that we do actually need in the form of plantage. 
to go on the shelves. Although there isn't much of a selection here. I think another trip to Ikea is probably needed because they have a really big plant section in that shop, uh, but I don't think we've got time to do that today. However, this is something that we do need, a new stall for the bar. And whilst I do like these chairs, this one specifically, like it's very comfortable to sit in, unfortunately, it doesn't really work for what we need. Because as Jess rightly just pointed out, Jess is obviously quite small, Benjamin is smaller, and I'm quite tall. So we need chairs like this that are just in height. However, after having ours for about five years, I really don't like these anymore. And I can't really see any others that are just in height. Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for, a sliding rack. No, not a shoe rack, but this is kind of what I was thinking about putting Jess's printers and stuff on. I can't see if I could buy that on its own though. And to be fair, I was just gonna make my own. Now I'm really wishing that I'd actually measured the Calyx unit because this, would be really useful to get. There are all the different types of dividers and inserts that you can put in the box section, but I don't know if it's the same size as the one we've got at home. Beginning to feel like a lot of fails are happening at this B&Q trip, but this is exactly what I was thinking about putting behind the TV. But honestly, staring at this wall is actually hurting my eyes, so maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe it's just my eyeballs, but yeah, that's like some weird optical illusion. Never. We are finally taking a W. I have found something that I do need. In the form of a circular saw, which is in stock. And I actually have a question for all of you gurus in the chat. What is the go-to brand to use when it comes to tools? I obviously really like DeWalt and it seems like a very go-to thing to use. But I have seen a lot of arguments for this brand here on TikTok though. Let me know. Now I'm not quite sure what the next tool I need is actually called, but I'm fairly sure a spanner will do the trick. And with those in the trolley, I think we are just about done at B&Q for now. Next stop is big old Tesco. Because we need to pick up some lunch before we head back to the flat to check on how the carpet's doing. So I'm thinking some sausage rolls, pork pies, and some scotch eggs. And oh, go on then. We'll get ourselves a mini roll. But we've indeed returned to the flat and the carpet has been cleaned. And it has to be said, he has done an absolutely cracking job. Now it doesn't look brand new and I didn't expect it to, but it is way cleaner. And the thing I'm actually shocked about the most is Benjamin's room. Because in his room, the carpet is practically brand new. I'm actually quite amazed that he managed to mostly get the stain out the floor. And like I said, it's not exactly brand new. Like you can still see a bit of the pink in the carpet, but man, I'll take it. I actually found him off Google last minute and he came in at really quick notice to get the carpets clean. And it's actually night and day. Not only is the carpet a little bit cleaner, but it smells and feels a lot fresher in the flat, which is kind of what I was going for as well. And I think if we do intend to like paint the flat and put primer on the walls, that'll actually change everything. It will start to feel like new again. Because that is one thing about the flat that really does need sorting. Benjamin is drawn all over the walls everywhere. And like I've said many times before, we weren't actually fixing fixated on staying here forever so I don't actually mind the walls being all drawn on and stuff like that but you know I want to come back to a nice fresh place or if I do actually end up renting this place out to somebody else like subletting uh, then it would be nice for the flat to be clean and fresh for them as well. All right let's get back to the task at hand which is moving these shelves and putting them above the TV. However I have had a little bit of revelation with what I want to do with this space because one downside to like this snug is that me and Jess both have like water bottles that we take to bed with us and I'll charge our phones and stuff like that. I leave my watch on charge all these things and obviously with this setup, we don't actually have anywhere to put those things. So what I'm thinking is if we move the bed across this way, utilizing a bit of this space I got here, waste case scenario, I can always move the unit across a little bit. But here, I want to basically put a headboard like against the wall like this. And then I'll basically be able to have like a shelf where we could pass stuff. And if I build it into the wall against this area, I can put wiring down there and I can put plug sockets in, USB chargers, that kind of stuff. And it gives us a space to put like our drinks and whatnot. But looking at the space that we've got, I think I need to move the bed a little bit further over, which means I'm gonna have to move this unit back again, which isn't the end of the world. It's not fixed into place permanently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it forward a couple of inches, which will give us enough space to build a like a headboard there. And then also a little bit of space at the end for the wiring to go down. And then I think we'll be good to move the shelves onto this unit, because I imagine it will probably stay in position then. All right, first things first, we need to move the telly off the wall. Nice and easy. Next up, it's just unscrewing the wedge from the top. And then it should just slide out. Now it's just a case of moving it over to as far as I want to go this way. Now I think because of the light fitting being right there, I'm probably going to bring it right up in line. I don't know, people have talked about the, uh, the dodgy wiring setup in the ceiling. I am going to patch it up and fix that. But all right, let's budge this over a little bit. And hopefully it moves nice and easy. 
Oh my days, it's very heavy. But a bit of faffing around later, I have indeed managed to move the thing over. And it might not seem like much, but I have gained quite a bit of space at the end of the bed. Now what I think we should do is move these over. And to be honest, I think this should be fairly easy. There's a lot more screws in this than I was actually anticipating all my days. There is seven screws holding up that floating shelf. And now I'm wondering how viable it is to put that on here because just around here, this is what I'm screwing into, a really thin piece of wood. Hmm. You know, like, to be honest, I think I could probably get away with just doing like the top row of screws and then getting the one aligned in the middle there. And if I get that bang on, that should be all right. So in theory, I only need to actually make one measurement and I need to go 15 inches down and I need to go 15 inches across. Which is exactly there. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's hope it goes in the right place. And the survey says there's no holes here. I think we've nailed it, you know? And the reason we only actually needed one screw is that now it's in place and I've found a center point. As long as it's level, all the screws should hit the right spots. And if they don't, my mistake. So, my theory works. I have just blindly screwed in five screws. And if we go round to the other side, I'm 99% positive that I have not messed it up at all. No, they are all perfectly screwed in to this little thin piece of wood. Now, what I didn't consider is whether the shelf would fit the backboard. Guess what? It doesn't. When I lined up the bracket and I put it on the side there, I was like, oh, it'll fit perfectly. I got one that side, one that side. But the shelf is bigger than the bracket. So if I just slide this thing on here, not only won't it go flush because of the spine that I've got in the middle, but it overhangs the side here and it wouldn't, I wouldn't fit two up there. What a waste of time. But just as a proof of concept, I put the TV back up on the wall and I've got some plants from the other room and put them on the shelves. And I think overall, if we zoom out, you know what? It would actually, if I got a smaller shelf there and another small shelf there, it, I think it would look all right, you know? Now, obviously, they're not the plants I'm going to be using. I'll have some ones that drape down and stuff like that. But proof of concept, it does look right. I just need to remember to measure things first. But I think on that horrifically disappointing bombshell, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. So if you have enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up rain. I would appreciate that. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. And you'll get notified when I do more idiotic things like this. But as always, guys, it's been Ryan. I love you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.